Hey there traders, welcome back to your daily trading and market recap where we trade the E-mini futures. The levels you see on this chart of the SPY or spiders will be our baseline for entering trades in the E-minis today during the open session. Check out the description below this video to learn more about the mission of this channel and the background on this trading strategy. I'm Sam. Today is Tuesday, October 8, 2024. It is about 7.30 a.m. Eastern as I'm making this pre-market video. What can we say about the levels for today? Notice that currently in the pre-market session, price has climbed a little from where they closed yesterday. The level at 569.90 that is shown in a lighter blue color might not be a tradable level. It's just more of a reference point for me. If price gets above this level, that could be a bullish sign where they might try to get back to the 573.14 and above. Meeting some overhead resistance along the way would be the normal thing, but not guaranteed. If price stays below 569.90 to 570 or so, that could be a sign of weakness. If they get below the close of yesterday, around 567.80, the bears might be more in charge at that point. And when I say get below, I mean closing candles of significance under that level. There are no news items or data releases of significance that I see scheduled today. For what it's worth, I probably won't be able to trade anything today myself. I'm hitting the road in about 30 minutes to head to a funeral in another state. Most of my day will be away from the screens. We'll come back to this chart after the closing bell to talk about what happened and analyze any trades taken as a result of these levels. Catch you on the other side. It is now about 8 minutes in front of 5 p.m. I got back to the house about 20 minutes ago. As I mentioned this morning, I was traveling today, so I wasn't able to trade anything today, no recording of any live trades, but it should be obvious that we had some good levels on the board from this morning. Remember this uh, reference level at 569.90? I said that if price could stay above, which means get multiple closes above on larger time frames, this was a good sign that the bulls could push price higher. It really wasn't a tradable level as much as it was a like a pivot level. It was just there to act as a gauge. So let's examine the way you would have traded these levels today. First, while price did open above 569.90, come into it, and even after 15 minutes had passed, or 15 minutes after the opening bell, they were slightly above, there really wouldn't have been enough information for me to be comfortable trading this on the long side. Because at this point in the morning, it was too early for, to know if they might fall a little farther for like a fake out or whatever before acting bullish later in the day. So I'm not counting a trade here, although it would have worked fine. This pivot area did act as initial support though. The first official trade would have been up at 571.32 on the short trade, the operating level 571.27. That was a nice trade, a few minutes and you would have had your first base hit in the bag. That level is now off the board for any future short trades. That means you would ignore this level right here, this next hit when it came up. It's a good example of how the first hit is the best hit. So they got above the level. And you know what that means? If enough time goes by and everything else looks good on your analysis charts, that this same level, now with a five cent buffer added toward price as it's coming into it from above, is viable for what I call a recycle trade. So going long at 571.37 was a ticket. They bounced very cleanly and gave you another second base hit of four or more ES points. So now this level is definitely off for the rest of the trading session because it's been traded on the short side and the long side. So just ignore it for the rest of the day. That's the safe approach. The next level they got to was 573.14 or 573.09 as adjusted. Would you have gone short here when the SPY hit it right here? The answer is no, and there's two reasons. If you've been following this channel for a while now, you probably know what the two reasons are. One is because when price got to this level, it was within 30 minutes of the closing bell. Notice the time, 15.32, 15.33. There is a simple rule in this strategy that I've developed, which says do not enter any new trades within 30 minutes of the closing bell. If you happen to be in an active trade at that point in time and you have not pulled a base hit or you haven't fumbled the trade, well, there are rules to cover that scenario as well. The second reason is a certain kind of consolidation that I call the 2020 rule. If price gets within 20 cents of your operating level and takes 20 minutes or longer to finally get up to the level, consolidates there, then the market is probably telling you that the level will not work. It's like price is building up steam to power through that level. Like let's say this was in the morning before that 30 minute of the closing bell and you saw the same kind of thing happening. Well, you wouldn't take this trade. 
I mean, now you have two reasons because it was after 3.30. So this was a no trade. And that's put this level here, as you've probably figured out, the light blue line is the kind of just a, a point you can eyeball it. You can put your cursor. That's what I often do. I'm just holding it right there. That's 20 cents from the operating level. And it's pretty clear by this point, I'm going to not even activate the trade. I'm going to cancel if I had an order in. But since it was after 3.30 p.m., I'm not going to take that trade. That's two reasons. So no trade, two reasons to leave it alone. I would like to point out, though, where the spider is closed today. The official close uh, on the daily chart is 573.17. So we had 573.14 from the morning. Do you find it interesting that a level that we identified around 7.30 a.m. this morning was the destination of the SPY? They were almost up 1% today, climbed over 50 points, and they happened to close within three pennies of a level that we put on the board way before the market opened. I just find it interesting and validating that there is something to these levels. I hope you'll agree. All told, two base hits at this level, 571.37 area, uh, for at least four points each if you were following the rules. If you had these levels via my morning email and you trusted them enough to trade them, I hope you pulled a few dollars from the market today. No reason why you couldn't have done that fairly easy. So what is the daily chart saying now? Well, let's look at the close. The official close, as I said before, is 573.17. And so while it wasn't quite above the high, the high of this a couple of days ago was 573.36. Didn't quite get there, but they closed above, obviously, the day before, but this previous day. So they're up here flirting with this uh, this resistance area. A couple things could happen here. They could fall back, as we've been saying, from this area. They've, they've already done this a couple times. Or they could gap above and go higher. We could wake up tomorrow morning and they could be above here somewhere and continue higher. If we look at this four-hour chart, the 240-minute, then you see the timing of this. This is that big breakdown candle we've been talking about, mostly on the hourly chart. But the timing's right here as they're, as they're coming up. They still haven't closed anything above the high of this breakdown candle. So that's one reason why you could expect a, a pullback. I mean, they've already pulled back several times from this. Usually you'd have some type of consolidation, kind of like a bearish type of inside bar consolidation where they would consolidate within this bar, but they would cleanly kind of stair step their way up to the top of it, get near the top after a certain amount of time and fall away. So on a 240 minute chart or four hour chart, we would basically have to see at least one or two four hour candles above the high of this candle here for this consolidation pattern to be off the table. But this is kind of bearish on its face, but don't forget they're above the moving averages. There's really nothing bearish in the long term. On the hourly chart, we've got all these things going on here. Uh, here's an example of a similar type of bearish consolidation. You know, this candle, they, they gapped up, they fell down, they've been coming up within this, inside this. Well, so here's a high of this. They, they closed one candle above. It wasn't too surprising they fell away, but they're getting back up and, again, and now they've closed two hourly candles, it looks like. So the high of this candle was 572.71. So we're going to compare against that. Do we have any closes above that? 572.86, there's one. And today, 573.11. So they're getting above this level. So this is starting to look like it's not maybe going to hold. And that's why I say it's possible, very possible for them to gap above this area and start climbing tomorrow. But don't forget they're on the edge. And so something else could happen. There's still other pivot highs up here, this whole general area, which they've been trying to get above and can't seem to do it. They're back for the third, fourth time or so. Maybe it's the final time, at least on the hourly chart here. Maybe this is the time they're going to bust above and go higher. We'll have more information, of course, in the morning with the pre-market activity and have levels that are more precise before the opening bell tomorrow morning. Here are our tracking logs. The first one is the PBR or the playing by the rules log. You can read the notes. Both trades were at this one level and the other two levels. Not really a tradable level. It was a reference point. And then this was after the time of day, after within 30 minutes and that consolidation. over. So eight points entirely possible today. And I didn't take any trades, so I missed some good opportunities, but there will be more trades tomorrow. So that is it for today. That's a wrap. We had some pretty good setups. As always, it's all about sticking to the plan, trusting the levels. Remember, trading is a marathon, not a sprint. So with consistency, the profits will follow. I like to think of the strategy not as my get-rich-quick approach, but kind of a get-rich-steadily approach. If you've been following along, I hope you'll agree that the results speak for themselves. If you found value in today's recap, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a daily update, and drop a comment if you have questions or want to share your own trading wins. I'd like to hear from you guys, and getting feedback is good. So let's keep growing together, keep the wins coming. Talk with you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day.